Hello. What's up, sucker? Hey, you want to hear something, Eric? Back on my corner platter. You want to hear some? What, mm. Jorge? I can get my fingernail under. Mm. That's it. Oh. Dueling banjos. Don't ever do that again. I don't ever want to see you take a step without saying cheers. I've well, done it before cheers. and I'll do it again. Rebel. Got you like a pig. So what's up, dude? Oh, man. Um, a lot. You know? Okay. Like, um, how about all the shit that's going on? Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Police brutality, which we already covered, but, mm -hmm. man, just more and more videos are, you know, surfacing, and uh, it's pretty crazy out there, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff that... You know, we just haven't seen. Hopefully, uh, have you ever heard of that dude, um, Anonymous? <laughs> the dude that wears that V for Vendetta mask? Oh, yeah. You know, that dude is a force to be reckoned with, my man. Pulling it old school. He is, uh, he's making some threats. Oh, yeah? What's he saying? Well, he's just threatening to expose Trump and all, you know, and certain entities departments of all the wrongdoing that they've done in a short moment of time the true revelation will occur and everyone will be exposed you know man that's that's it's it's cool but fucking dangerous and scary well you know what man there's all kinds of conspiracies out there all kinds true but this is one that could actually happen which is a scary thing because this guy has actually exposed plenty of people he's, yeah. he's he's like a world-class hacker kind of thing you know it's like he's off the map off the grid he's he's capable and you need more people like that yeah seriously but i mean i guess it's a good and a bad you know yin and yang but sure because hey, right if there. yeah it's if it if it exposes leaks something that people just don't want to see and somebody gets upset who knows what could happen well, I'll tell you what, man. Civil war. Nobody's clean. My favorite slogan is, you know, to get to the level of politics that presidents and vice presidents and secretaries of state get to, to get to that level of politics, you're pretty much guaranteed a ticket to the corruption party. Yeah. I think that's what my, uh, my former boss, Patrick, used to say that. Yeah. Yeah, he used to say it all the time. Yeah, at that level of politics, it's, you know, you're so indebted to everybody else. Special interest, corporations, businesses, and this person did a favor for that person, and that person wants to help this person, and they later on down the road say, I'll do this if you do that, and it's, you know, I'll trade you this person for that person, and this vote for that vote. It's, they're all just trying to stay in the game. That's all they're trying to do, you know. They're, what kind of meaningful legislation are they really passing? Sounds like uh, EA Sports needs to release a video game on politics. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. But if you want to get into conspiracies, now look. Everybody, this guy maybe, what's his name? V? Well, is, is well he, going to the guys he calls himself v? anonymous. Okay. Whatever he is. He may have a bead on Trump, but you know what? I want to talk about Trump for a minute because we, we, we slammed him pretty hard last time. <clears throat> how he's not really a good leader but you we know did? what i did did you didn't you see that that clickbait i made for him i know yeah he did i was pretty messed up go but, check it out everybody sorry it's sorry trump one. i know you're trying hard and you're a patriot but you know what we're just speaking truth here <laughs> what sorry. that he's reptilian that too you just don't you never know <laughs> i mean now he's saying that that old man that they pushed that he could have been um affiliated with the antifa you know, thing and that he was scanning the police, uh, you know, to try to compromise their equipment and what? Shut the fuck up. That is the stupidest oh boy. shit. A 75 year old was, oh my God, dude. Like what? What? I, I, I can't pull up the tweet because uh, my phone is recording, but dude, if he's just like, oh yeah, this, this, uh, this person, 75 year old, whatever his name was, um, or is, uh, you know, he's affiliated with the Antifa group and uh, he was trying to scan police and, you know, they he fell harder than they shoved him. But this, yeah, but this dude is on the floor 
Yeah, that was, that was that's lame. You know, and that's 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 uh, our president, Eric. <laughs> anyway, anyhow, well, you know what? I know he's tried to do a lot of good. I mean, he's got a lot of people that don't like him because he's, you know, he's trying to shift another balance of power. I mean, didn't he like, uh, you know, deprivatize the Federal Reserve and and uh, kind of kind of made it difficult for a lot of people that were throwing money offshore and. You know, he's he's a he's a patriot. He's has the most god awful public persona. Blech. But uh yeah, I could see where he where there's a lot of powerful old money and ruling class that would feel threatened by him and everything that he's doing. You ever thought of that, Poppy? You know, the only thing I could ever think of when I look at that guy is the lies you know, the cowardness inside of him. That black wall that he put up around the White House like a scared little bitch. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll say it. And also, um, you know, all the people that he's putting in cages down at the border. Yeah. That's yeah. fucked up. Yep. You know, and there is going to be a, a he, march he, for all that. It, you know, I know soon. there is. And you know, it's, it's, but, it's bittersweet because he's done a lot of good things for America, but he's also... I will agree. It's 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 a double edged yeah, sword. It's, it's it bittersweet. Is. Yeah. And it sucks that life is that way. But hey, if you don't like it, stir some shit up. Start a revolution. Fuck yeah, it. Everybody's just gonna jump right in on that one as they sip their lemonades on their lawn with their white picket fence in there. Yeah. Net, I do wonder Netflix. Yeah. I, I do wonder what's and gonna distractions happen. and Instagram and all these other social media things that just take us away from, you know... What's really, really going on? Yeah, y'all. You know? When was the last time people have just stopped and looked up at the stars? I do that. And wonder, what is life? I see all five of them. Yeah. Sorry, six. I think I saw uh, a survey that 90 to 95% of people in the world have never seen the sky at night the way it should be. You mean with the full arms of the Milky Way? Exactly. We go camping out at Halama. Or all you have to do is go camping in the high desert on, on a new moon. And you will see stars like you've never, ever seen before in your life. Just blow you away. On a clear night, you can, you're can you like, whoa, hold on a second. You can see the arms of the Milky Way. You can see clouds. It's, 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 it's breathtaking. It just blows you away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, um, I take this road when, whenever I'm in Vegas and I head home. Uh, there's this road that just veers off you know, the regular way that everybody takes. And I think it's like Blue Diamond Road or, or Way. And I just take it off and it takes you in the middle of like nowhere, you know, and um, through the backwoods and shit. And uh, and I remember it's like, you know, you get to a point where it's all desert and there's there's no civilization anywhere. You're, you're far as hell. And it's just a road, not even like a sidewalk. It's just road and desert. Dark Knight Radio. Yeah. And uh Ooh. You know, and, and that's one when day, our bell comes on. Ooh, yeah, on a dark night when you're going down the desert, it's laid out, and you're listening to Art Bell talk about the guys that, that worked at uh, Area 51 and the interdimensional beings and all that shit. Oh yeah, good stuff. Yep. But anyway, so uh, I drive down that road, and um, eventually you reach nothing, and you know when it's night out, you don't see anything except. A shit ton of stars. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's breathtaking. <laughs> it's breathtaking. I want to make sweet love. So, to an alien who's flying by and <laughs> oh, happens to see me. <laughs> Did I say that wrong? No, I think you guys <laughs> just right. I think you're it's just a little off, but. You're good. There's a lot. Yeah. You need a little more uh, throw in your... Put a little more bass in it. Okay. <clears throat> Which species was that again that did that? I don't know. Was it from signs? Well, yeah, they did like the clicking. The clicking, yeah. That's but right. that was kind of scary and eerie because they did like a... Like a almost like a whale thing, like like a heart. Is it like a harmonic thing? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Was, that that, was that, was, that movie freaked me right out. 
Yeah, especially when she's like, there's an alien or a monster outside my window. And he Ooh. looks out and it's just standing there. Yeah, that was, that was one of like the last good movies that, that M. Night. No, M. M. Night Shyamalan? Is that him? I think it's him. Now we have to look that shit up. No, I think it is him actually. But uh, that was one of like the last good movies that he ever made. It's pretty good. You know what? I'm going to turn a fan on. Do it. Do you want a fan? Oh, yeah. I'm turning a fan on. If you guys can't tell, which from the video... Sweaty. Sweaty my balls off. Keep talking to your public. They love you. It's okay. They can take a pause with us. They're probably driving somewhere or just hanging out at home. Searching for a purpose. Wondering, you know, the meaning of life. And... You know, what this life will bring them and others. And what the world will look like in a hundred years. You know what I was thinking the other day, Eric? Because, uh, you know, I was just kind of examining my nail, you know, because it's growing back. Everybody, settle down. I'm back. Yeah, and that noise that you hear in the back is the fan. Oh, dude, that sucks. It's like ruining our whole thing. I don't think so. Can you guys handle the fan? You said you're fine with that? You said play that fan all night? What's that? You want to start a revolution? A civil war between whites and minorities? Well... The way to do that is to take all these Mexicans and put them on the other side of the wall. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Once you do that, everything's fine. No more of that cartel bullshit. No more of that ditch weed. No more chips and salsa. <laughs> no more margaritas. <laughs> Supermax is just going to close. Well, if you're going to start a revolution... Just make sure that it's a really cool roller coaster and it does at least three or four loops. I like that. They used to have a ride. Oh, at, cheers to that. No, it's Perry Farm called The Revolution. Really? I don't care. Anyway. Uh, I, think, I think it was at Knott's Perry Farm. They still have Montezuma's Revenge. Again, you don't care? I think, okay, I that's think fine. They, I think they have that one ride, though. Um, the one that's uh, I don't care. Yeah. Anyway, I've been um, on that one too. It looks something like this. So, let me see it again. <sighs> I okay. want people on my side to, you know, my screen. Yeah, you're trying to like. But anyway, uh, Disneyland is opening up in July. Wow. Hey, I have something to say about this whole COVID thing. Okay, say something about this COVID thing. As if, so, as if we haven't had enough stupid episodes about that stupid COVID thing. I know, COVID but thing. this will be the last the time, I promise, because... The big conspiracy, the oh my God. engineered thing it's, that they're going to slip that uh, technology yeah, that's going to track everybody it, and yeah, yeah, all that stuff. It's just crazy because... So, yeah, good. That's clever. That was really clever. <laughs> <laughs> I like that right there. Just keep doing what you're doing. Y'all did a good job there. Viral priority. Yeah. Keep up the good work now, you hear? You're doing a good job there. You did a very good job. Just keep, so, so keep it up, uh, nigga. But, um, you know, we've come a long way since this whole quarantine has started, and there's still a lot of what-ifs and unknowns about this whole COVID thing. Oh, and round two is going to happen if we just open things back up. Yeah, that's true, whatever. That goes for every sickness. Whether we want to treat it as a flu and just kind of like a thing that's going to be reoccurring for the rest of our lives and killing certain people that are weak, I don't know. But I I just want to get this off my chest because it's been bugging me the more that I've been hanging out with people since things are starting to go back to normal, you know, with some restriction. But I don't I don't understand why people are still like afraid because you see all these people protesting, you know, give us back our freedom, give us it. But then you see the same people, you know, it's like afraid to hang out with other people. You know, and they're wearing their mask out in public. Who are these people? I do. Anybody, everybody. I mean, I do whoever. What to inquire, dear boy? Who are these people of which the majority you speak? of people that are, of which I of which I speak? 
two which of, of which of of, of, the, uh, of whom you speak of, uh, of whom uh, 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 yeah boy uh, uh, of uh, uh, whom uh, uh, you uh, uh, speak uh, uh, let's get it proper now so of whom i speak good That's sir better now you've got it better is the pale facers pale facers you're talking about my people your people you mean my people from britain <laughs> You mean the people from Iceland, of course. Oh, you mean the people from the Netherlands and those Northern Islands? Mm. Those bunny crazy that lot. Came out of the mountains. Yes, okay. With no exposure to sun. Yes, so therefore they've got no melanin. And, and they can't protect them themselves. They get sunburns and skin <laughs> cancers. Damn the lot of them. Yes, those. Okay, so what anyway, about them? So creatures from the northern islands. Well, not just them, anybody really. But um, no, it's okay. You you can be as racist as you want to be. I don't give a shit. Go no, ahead. no, no. It, it, it's not about that. It's just that I see the majority of the people that are are posting these things or that I see protesting are you know, the lighter skinned. Well, goddamn, a little bit of you know. Y- some you ain't color, gonna but, take away my truck. But it, it's you just, ain't gonna take away my guns. You ain't gonna take away my RV and. My- they took our jet road vehicles and ain't gonna take away my chewing tobacco and my Budweiser and my hat okay let me let me finish before, and my boots I, before I lose it so uh um, and my horny toes so I you know I'm hanging out like you know with with they call it like the close group of friends you know the circle that you keep close cheers and um you know and these people have kids cheers you know and and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking you know I respect, you know, their beliefs and what they think about this whole situation in COVID because they have kids and I don't, whatever, you know, but I, I'm an uncle now, you know, and I have things to, to be careful about too. But at the same time, it's like, okay, you know, it's like they're starting to open things up, you know, and, and, and you see more and more people without their mask and then you see people with their mask and then people with gloves. But I went, you know, to downtown in Belmont. I don't know if it's a de- considered downtown, but I went to Belmont Shore and I stopped at a spot, you know, called the Tap House. I'm mm-hmm. sure some people have heard of it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they seat you six feet away. Mm-hmm. But, you know, whether they're doing good practice or not, you know, you're 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 roughly about six feet away from every table or whatever. But then there's people passing by. There's people, you know, without their masks. Not everybody in there is wearing gloves. You know, I go to Starbucks and a lot of people aren't wearing gloves or a mask. You know, and I won't say where because I'm not trying to get anybody, you know, shut down. But but it's like, although with these practices, like, I feel like there's still no way to really avoid it 100%. So then what's the point? It's Dude, like I could have it right now. Exactly. So, so, for example, I was having a conversation with somebody and I said, hey, you know, he said, oh, I'm going to get tex- te- tested for COVID in about a week, you know, because I work at the VA hospital, whatever. And I'm like, great. So what happens if you have it? And he said, oh, well, I just have to be really cautious and, you know, start. And I'm like, okay, but what if you have it right now? We've hung out three times before, you know, not consecutive, you know, consecutively, just, you know, once every Saturday, whatever. But in the last two months since this whole thing started, we hang out every now and then. And we're all together, like in close proximity, handing things to each other, playing board games. So it's like, why all of a sudden, oh my God, I came out positive. Hey man, what you bring into my circle, Poppy? It's like, it's like, now it's like. What you bring into my circle, Poppy? All right, you're interrupting again. You know, I'm on a roll. So it's like. Roll on, brother. So I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I told him, I'm like, well, then what's the point of being cautious after you find out you're positive? Like, what if you're, you're positive right now? Well, you should always be cautious is the point. Exactly. So, and it's like, if you're going to start being Don't cautious. Don't change your behavior just because you feel sick. Yeah, it's like, if you're going to start being cautious after the fact that you've come back positive, it's like, it's already fucking too late. You yeah. know, like their kids are playing amongst everybody, touching everybody, going crazy. Just what kids do. Kids are the great carriers. You know, yeah. And, awesome carriers. And Perfect. I, well designed. Good job, and, guys. Good design in that. You're interrupting again, goddamn. Well, it's because you won't shut up, dude. You just keep going. Well, on about isn't it. what this podcast is about talking? Well, I'm gonna tell you what I think, okay? But I think but, what this, what's going on here, and maybe this is just my paranoid conspiracy theory mindset. But I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna have another round, another round of it, and everybody's gonna be scared back into their shell, just like a turtle or a snail, and then they're gonna say, "Ah, oh, we have a vaccine." And everybody's going to get in line to get that vaccine, and it's going to be mandated. You have to get this vaccine. And people who don't get the vaccine, 
they will do away with them because they're interrupting the master plan. Master that's plan. scary. Master plan is to slip the technology that's now available into the body so everybody can be tracked. First they did it with cell phones. Now they're going to do it with technology in our body. I'll tell you what, Eric. <laughs> when that day comes, mm -hmm. I will not get that vaccine. I don't see the need to get it. And if I stop coming to this podcast, you'll know why. You know what, man? If it does happen, let's say that whole conspiracy is true that that this is the this is this is how they're gonna sneak in the 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 injection that's gonna track everybody and everything. That's you know what that is? That's six six six, the number of the beast that is spoken about in the Bible. What do you think of them apples? That's pretty crazy. Not deep shit? It says, and I can't remember which one it is, and one of my Christian buddies can correct me after they listen to this and school me on how I should know what this is. But I don't um, want to live on this planet anymore. 666 is the number of the beast, and in the Bible it says that that's that, that when we, the, the children that bear that number or the kids that bear that number, the people who bear that number, that's the beginning of the eventual apocalypse. It's coming. Ah! Should make a movie about this. No, I don't think anybody would watch it. This would make it. a good sci-fi movie. Well, I don't think anybody would watch it. Why? Because it came from me? Because people are distracted right now. By what? By this? Space Force. <laughs> Space Force? Yeah. Is that like the... There's a show on, the uh, Speed on Netflix Force? now called... Oh, the Speed Force. Like That's Flash. Flash. Yeah, man. It's one of my favorite characters. So just to conclude on that whole COVID thing, if it were true that this is going to be the opportunity for them to slip something in, then maybe a lot of that stuff they said in the Bible is worth another look. Just to see what the hell they You mean that about. game of telephone that they have written down as a book? Yes. Hmm. Is that a game of telephone? I mean, if I told you one thing and then you tell your kids another thing and then it's like, hey, let's pass down this story. I know, like the burning bush. Moses talks about the burning bush, talking to God in the burning bush. It's like, okay, dude, put away the heroin. The peyote. Put away the peyote, boy. We don't do none of that peyote stuff around here. But going back to what I said about the, you know, coming out positive. How do you feel about that? What he's, you know, all of a sudden being cautious and because he came back positive. Would you say, well, you what's the You should have been cautious point? to begin with. You should, you should always practice the same look there's guidelines out there follow the guidelines so you agree with me at this point no. it's already too fucking late we've pretty, been hanging out for who knows how long yeah. like all together the same group of people we never bring anybody else around the circle you just gotta quit slipping them the tongue when you kiss them dude well yeah i guess maybe if i see so you can change your behavior yeah maybe if i stop with the rim jobs <laughs> That get you nervous, Eric? That was gross, boomer. dude. No, not really. I'm not a boomer. I'm a, whatever. I don't care what you are. Anyway. Oh, that's um, right. I was supposed to look up what Gen X was just so I can say, Wow, 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 dude. One more time. X. Yep. Exactly. Race. Spacked. So what else you got to say? Are you talking to me? Oh, um, oh walk on home, boy. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, you got it. Race. Got your tree, you miserly. Both the pirates are stars. Watch them from last sheet out at you. I love it when like you, you pick up on songs that I sing and you just like it clicks. I see it in your face and you're like, oh <laughs> Dude, it totally gets my autism going. <laughs> my self stimulatory behavior. Like totally <laughs> triggers it. Oh, hey. Um, hey. This will be a little shout out, but um, I, I went down to our old job, Wellington, today. You went to the old jobby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wellington Signs right there in San Pedro. Yeah, what'd you say? Mm. Hey, boys, how's it going? I just had them do a little project that I had going on. Yeah? 
You yeah, see Jim? Um, yeah, he was there. Cool. Yeah, I got a, I got him doing a couple projects for me right now too. Nice. And um, I yeah, I walk in there. It, it's it's pretty cool. It's still hot as shit in there, but yeah, man, I'm like man, it just it just feels Randy like Randy in his dark, 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 dark brown building. Yeah, it, well, absorbing all the sunlight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, these walls are insulated eight eight feet thick with lots of foam. They're not gonna get hot. Eight feet thick, I'm but joking. I'm they're joking. just. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, yeah, it was, it was great to to see that place because every time I, every now and then when I go in there, it just like reminds me of the good old days. Yeah. I miss those days. I do. Yeah, and Jimmy, if you're listening, you know, I'll, 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 you know, get back in there for ten or fifteen bucks an hour. Just let me know. I'm Dude. not desperate or anything, but damn, those are desperate numbers right there, boy. Desperate would be, hey, you know, I'll be there for free. No, well, that's not really. I don't Come on, that. man, don't sell yourself short. I think I would do it for fifteen bucks an hour, but under the table. Under the table, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's what it. I was thinking. I wasn't thinking on the fucking clock. Ten or fifteen, ten or fifteen bucks under the table is not bad. Don't forget your value, plus with, dude. Plus with my unemployment, pff, come on, boy. I know, but dude, you could you could do freelance work for like. I don't have a lot of freelance work right now. Okay. Okay, but when it comes in, I mean, you're billing, you know, like anywhere from sixty to ninety an hour. No, I, I do like thirty. Oh, you're giving it away, dude. That's okay. Stop giving it away, man. I don't mind doing it like that, all right? It's just the way Yo, I... give it away, man. Give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. You know, I, I, I always I've always had like this little philosophy where it's like, man, I I believe that art should be free to some extent, but if you're good at what you do, you know, you never want to do it for free, so I do it for cheap. Because I know the only clients that I have are people who are trying to come up, just as I am. So I'm not going to go in there and just be like, bro, I'm sorry. I know you're trying to start your plumbing service, but, you know, I'm 90 yeah, bucks an hour. I know, I know. When you so, got... But that's the only clients I do have. Yeah. If, if I, you know if how I much, had you know a how clients... much that plumber's charging? How much? Probably anywhere from, seven, anywhere from 80 to $120 an hour. True, true. But at the same but time. But he can't afford to pay you 60 an hour for your design work? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Man, oh, but come on, man. You know what? I... Come on. I, I just try to be, you know, a super cool guy, and I'm like, hey, you know what? I'll try to earn, you know, I'll see if I can trust this guy or these people, and, you know, maybe they could be a returning customer. You never know. No, I know what you're saying. And I always Investing make kind of a little like, to get a little. Exactly. In the long run. Yeah, I know. I always make these deals where it's like, hey, you know, the first, uh, you know, once you start making it big, the first few designs are at this rate. After that, price goes up. Yeah. If they don't like it, no. You know what? Actually, I don't need it. Actually, I, I knew a therapist who used to tier her uh, her rates depending on the type of person she was seeing. You know, yeah. if she's seen a guy who has his doctorate, well, he's going to pay the top rate. If she's seen a student, she, she's going to bill at the lower rate. So, so then, so am I, I wrong, it. Eric? No, you're gorgeous, Poppy. No, no. I want to have a, a talk with this therapist now. That's pretty interesting because. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody practiced that kind of, you know, thing, but way of thinking. But that's the way I see it. I just don't know. I was about to say, I'm looking at the company. I mean, I guess I could do that, but I don't do that. Then I just go broke. I can't pay my bills, and I just have to suck dick for a living. But I don't want to do that either. I don't want to live on the street. And shit, is what if I just start whoring myself around out there? But anyway, so yeah, okay, yeah. But yeah, man, what's going on with you? All right, it's all about me. I've been doing all the talking tonight. What's up? Well, you were being so forceful about it. I had it. Like oh yeah, talk because tonight. I I have it in my head. Okay, all right. It's been bugging me, and I can't talk to my girlfriend about it because she'll say, "Well, I just you have to deal with it." And it's like, "Well, yeah, that's how I feel about it too." But I got to get this shit off my fucking chest because it bugs me. Mm. And then Agreed. when I get upset, I slap her around. Yeah. What do you, and I don't want to be abusive, man. That's not me. Well, what, what do you what do you tell do what do you tell a woman with two black eyes? What? It doesn't matter. She didn't listen the second time either. Oh my god! Isn't that fucked up? It's so fucked up, dude. I know. You know, I was really young when I first heard that joke, and you know, being naive and dumb, I didn't, you know, get the magnitude of it. I mean, it was, it's, it's, 
it's 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 almost like firemen and they have to deal with the horrors that they see and they have to make a joke out of it but yeah it's pretty fucked up i got so, a lot of uh, fucked up jokes in my head but i'd rather not say them yeah there's so many horrible women jokes out there no that not was just like the one, worst but... one well you said you beat your wife or your girlfriend so oh i don't do that i, just I don't do that <laughs> i love my girlfriend uh, and we get along very well. No, actually, my wife beats me. Yeah, I was going to say, and she beats me. <laughs> Emotionally. <laughs> yeah, right. Verbally. Yeah, men are, men are physically, and women are like, I will dominate your mind. You know what's funny? When it comes to like little, you know, when we bicker and we talk shit about each other, it's always fun because, like, I, I mean... I used to get punked as as a, as a kid, you know, verbally. So I've developed this way of like, if you say something abusive verbally, you know, to me, in a split second, I'll have something worse in my head already, like to just throw back at you that'll just destroy you. So it's like with my Go girlfriend, for the either. exactly. So it's like I've just that's just how I'm wired that way because it just that's how I used to be when I was a kid. So I couldn't defend myself verbally because I just didn't really know like why are these kids being mean to me. So I would come up with all these things in my head over it when I got home after the next day, and I thought, okay, if this guy ever talks shit again, I'm gonna see something so fucked up because I know dirt on all these people. I'll probably get my ass kicked, but it'll just. But it'll, cry. It, it'll catch them off guard. Yeah, and I don't know. So it's funny. Suddenly, when, their feathers won't be puffed out exactly. anymore. They'll be like, oh, "How does he know? I and my, oh, oh, yeah, and, and whatever, always, George. Yeah, it, it, to, to me, it's always a mental game. That's funny, you know. But with my girlfriend, whenever we 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 start talking shit to one another, it's like as soon as she says something that I mean, it's she's just we're just having fun. But it's like I have these little clicks in my head it's like before she finishes her sentence it's like bitch i'm gonna destroy you right now <laughs> but i don't say it but it's just it's fun it's fucking fun i know you're you're def, definitely an andy kaufman fan i know uh, you I are. don't think so i know so. andy kaufman andy kaufman yeah the jew the black guy uh he was the comedian Start on Taxi. Well, not start, but he was on Taxi and a few other taxi? shows. Taxi? Yeah, he played Balky in... Uh, like Taxi Driver, the movie with Robert De Niro? No, 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 no. Taxi, the the series back in the 70s. Oh, yeah, because for, for, I was, a, for all I was you, around. Yeah, I know. Well, dude, you're supposed to like be retro, dude, and watch retro shit. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm not... Yeah. Anyway. Whatever, just forget it. Just just forget the whole damn thing, okay? Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say I'm a fan of his. I just like to stir shit up. Yes. Hey. Okay. Um, I was thinking. Mm-hmm. I good, forgot. Good thoughts. Thanks. That was a really good use of time. What else is going on between the two walls of your skull? <laughs> is it two In that or... bag of... The bag of liquid that's <laughs> bouncing around that ball of... Gelatinous. Gelatinous. Cockamamie. <laughs> Pee-pee. poop cock. What, what's in that... That cavity you call a cranium? I don't know. Does anybody really know? Just no. a bunch of electrical discharges. <sighs> yeah. We could go deep again, couldn't we? Yeah, we could. But I'm really, you know, I don't I don't know what to think about this whole COVID thing, dude. It's it just seems like all bullshit. I think it's all bullshit. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's all a fucking This episode is not about COVID, everybody. But we just want to bring it up because now that things are opening back up, I guess it is. I mean, it's a little update. But just the way that I, you know, I've been hearing people talk and I keep my mouth shut, just listen and give my little two cents about it. But it's like, man, it's like we I'm pretty sure we've all had it. And if you're not dead, then you're either asystematic or I mean, I don't fucking know. Asystematic. Is that what, it, what it's called? Symptom. Asymptomatic. Asymptomatic. A B. What? Asymptomatic. As a in a asexual or asymmetry or a meaning it's atypical it means but it means 
without regularity or repetitive continuity. <laughs> no, no, it can't be that way. It is. Okay. What did you call it? Asymptomatic. Asymptomatic. So, so to give you an analogy, symmetry, okay? You know what symmetry is, right? That's the... When things are off balance? The, the alignment of form. So there's, there's, there's bilateral symmetry, which is the same thing on one side as is on the other. That's predictable. Asymmetry is where it's a shape that is balanced, goes all over the place, and it's unpredictable. So asymptomatic, it's all over the place. Well, then. So like, yeah, I've been uh, bleeding from my anus for two weeks, and, uh, you know, I uh, <clears throat> my eyeballs C-diff. bleed every night. But I think I'm okay. I don't think I have the COVID. I think you just have C. diff. C. diff? What's that? I think it's like... Uh, a colon infection that literally it's like you're pooping out liquid shit. Really? Tell me. I mean, I would ask your wife because she's she's the nurse around here. But I mean, you think I got a problem? I don't think so. But I know what we can do if you do if you have that problem. We just plug it with something. Oh, okay, what do I put in there? I'll tell you later. <sighs> no, I'm not bleeding from my anus every day. More like every other day. Great. Yeah. Hey, you know what sucks? You ever had a you ever had a um, a, a um, hemorrhoid? No, I've had one before. That's great. And I don't it's think just people like want that. to hear this. It hurts, and it's usually from being dehydrated for like oh, a few days. Really? Yes. Really? That's actually a very common condition. You know. Really? Really? That's great. I think it happens to everybody. Doesn't that sound Is delicious? that like when you bleed out of your butt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's what happens, Poppy, when you go up to Santa Monica Boulevard on the weekend. What happens to Santa Monica Boulevard on the weekend? <laughs> Tell me, Eric. I hope what he... happens? Well, first, there's four roller skaters, and they're so strong and masculine, and they're wearing tutus. <laughs> You and they're need, so you, muscular. You, you don't need to go to the wilderness to see a bear. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. The bear's at home, bitch. That's <clears> right. <throat> the bears walk in the streets of, <laughs> of Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so anyways, I think this whole COVID thing's bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. Yeah, I think so, too. I think it's just another flu. And, you know, some people are going to die from it. I think the way people should see it is like, yeah, some people will die if they're weak or if something, you know, if it mutates to something stronger, I guess, whatever. I don't give a shit. But it's like one day everybody's afraid and fearful to just even go anywhere and touch people and touch things. But then the next day, I want to be all these people and corporations I want to be touched. and companies are like, we're going to open. I want to be held. For whatever reason. Because there are still cases, I want to see new my cases office mates. every day. But yet, oh, let's open up America. I want them to give me more work to do. I you want them to shout out to me because I'm not giving them what they need in time. Are you talking about your job? No, I, I, uh, no, no, no. What are you talking about? I don't know. It's not important. You know, I'm, I'm 29 right now, turning 30 in August. <clears throat> wow, dirty 30, and, dirty 30. Oh my God. <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> Bitch, we're going to have the best time. You don't even know. Forget about your ex. Are you going to tranny for me? No. Oh, come on, George. I know We're just going to go find somebody that you you're can not just, be like, Georgina. Totally go home with. You're not just, just going to be Georgina. You're just going to forget about your ex. It's your 30-30, bitch. Oh, bitch. Are you... Georgina's going to come out. <laughs> Georgina. <laughs> come on, Georgina. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Georgia. George... Oh, Georgia. No, I like Georgina. It sounds more. And Georgia's my classy bitch. It smells. It and smells Georgina's and tastes the... better on my tongue. Ugh. 
<laughs> That's gross. I know. Isn't that rad? Okay. Hey, guess what? I'm going spearfishing tomorrow. Oh, where? My wife has a day off. I'm taking a vacation day. And I'm wait, wait, wait. Going out to SBI. How, the f- how did that happen just now? How did both just... Oh. It's magic. Do you still believe in magic? Dude, that tripped me out for a second. Because it, I wasn't looking directly at it, so it was just like... Both Whoa! did the same thing. Both cans did the same. Oh my god, that fucking that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" So, anyways, this is like a glitch in the matrix. All the yeah, right. All all the islands are going off with fish right now. So, and there's gonna be good weather, and I it's a it's a golden opportunity. <clears throat> gotta take it. Gotta yeah, go. so gotta go. Gotta go. <clears throat> I gotta go. Eric has to wake it. up at five a.m. And I don't know how much of a nice guy he is, but. I was dropped off tonight. <laughs> so, oh. yeah, I don't oh, know if he wants, wants to take to me home. home. Or I could just run home. No, I'll take I'm tra- you home, I'm dude. trying to do a social experiment, gonna, everybody. No, 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 you no, 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 Here's what I'll Eric. do. I'll drive you to Compton and drop you off in the middle of Compton. How about that? Then you can That's have your social experiment. That's out of experiment. the way. I know, but then it'll be a real good social experiment. Got a, got a, a, a Mexi Mel in a... Uh, a Mexi Mel. In a soul fried chicken <laughs> neighborhood. <laughs> Oh, damn. That's kind of scary. Let's put your racism values to the test. You know, I think I'd be okay right now. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. The only the only person who's really being not liked right now is Whitey. Yeah. Whitey's, okay. Whitey's getting the bad if, rap. Because I have my sweater on me, so if I wear my hood, I won't be okay. Maybe. Maybe. But if I take my hood off, they'll be like, oh, that's my fellow whatever. That's Georgina right there. <laughs> Georgina. <laughs> oh, damn, There's damn, Georgina no featured on Saturday nights at the Imperial. Uh, yeah. No, the executive lounge. So um Yeah, I don't know. This 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 whole race thing that's going on right now. You know, I get it that there's bad cops. There's lots of bad cops. And cops okay, look. Any any organization where you have people that are have authority and can be physically aggressive if need be, you're gonna have some fucking cuckoo birds. You're gonna have some dudes that are need some serious help. But not everybody's bad. Hey, hey, hey. Before you say that. Uh huh. Yo. So how do you feel about Minneapolis disbanding the police department? Well, because I had a conversation with about this with some guy, okay, and he some brought up young guy. No, no, no. He was an older dude, cream, probably some about young guy? probably about your age, actually. Okay, and uh, he was a white dude, and not that color matters, but he just happened to be Crack white. Ass cracker. And he said, "Hey, you know, I was reading this paper. I took a picture of it. I'll send it to you later, and I'll post it on our Facebook. But um, Ooh, in Long Beach, in downtown, delicious. you know, around um." Uh, Broadway and you know Redondo or whatever there was a, a a paper posted on one of the posts and it said you know if you're in trouble you know rely on your communities police aren't needed anymore you know and, the, and they had like a 12 step thing you know if you're not dying or if you know they, they listed all these things you know on what you should do you know other than relying on the police and it made sense and in my head I was reading it and the guy you know kind of comes up to me and he's reading it too you know and I'm just like what do you think about that and he said, well, what's going to happen if, uh, you know, if, you know, drug dealers move into the neighborhood, you know, and they take over a house and they start selling drugs? You know, who's going to mm-hmm. protect people from that? And I said, well, what if they, you know, just get rid of the police, but they keep a drug task force, you know, task force, you know, alive and, and available. So in case something does happen, you call up that hotline or whatever and you say, hey. I think somebody's fucking selling drugs in my community. They look dangerous. Come take care of them. And they take care of them. They're not the police. They're not there to fucking, you know, whatever. It's it's complicated. It is very it's complicated. very complicated. But I'm trying to find ways to, you know, to see like, okay, how would that benefit, you know, let's say Los Angeles. Minneapolis, I've never been there. I don't know how shit works down there. I don't know what the fuck is up over there. But in Long- I started thinking, okay, well, I live in Long Beach. What would happen if suddenly Long Beach decided, hey, let's not have a police anymore, police department? Then how will we handle gangs, you know, rapes, uh, you know, theft? Well, because I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer all that for you. 
And the reason I'm going to answer that is because I did some study in a bunch of this stuff when I was living in downtown Long Beach and I was active in the first district and I was working with the police department and doing all that stuff. And, um, anyway, get to the point. No one cares. What did you do? That's what people care about. So, okay. So what I did, bitch, was we discovered that it depends on the community that you're in. Okay. Just like with the police, communities can have too much power or not enough power. And it depends on a lot of factors. How old is the community? Is it a generational community? Meaning, are there generations of people that have been living in that community and running that community? Is it a transient community? Is it a community where there's so many rentals that there's so many people in and out that there's really no true community ownership? Is it a half and half? There, is it a community that already has an infiltration of cartel or or you know local gangs or mafia or whatever? So there's positives and negatives to allowing a community to regulate themselves. If a community is disbalanced and not in harmony... Well, who's going to who's going to come out on top? So so that's something you have to think about. These are all issues you have to think about when you regulate you 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 come up with the concept of deregulating and rele- relegating or delegating the control to the community. Okay? Now, if you have police officers that are out of the community meaning they're from that community you have more success because they know everybody knows everybody everybody hey look you know are they going to come in and guns blazing if they know that johnny down the street has a little mental disbalance and he could be a little unstable probably not they're going to say hey well we know it's johnny okay got to handle him a little differently a cop who has to go in there who does no idea who this dude is or doesn't know the community and is a little trigger happy well that could go south real fast so there's something to be said about hiring police officers out of local communities to run in the communities, but you still have it's still it's still because of all the the reasons I mentioned earlier, it's it's not a simple formula. It's it's something that would have to have a lot of regulation of its own and check and balance. So I like that. I will, in my opinion, me being a millennial, I think getting rid of the police. You know, I don't give a shit, but whatever they do, I just roll with the punches. But I feel like a police would be needed, but there should be rules when it comes to certain things. Well, you still need to have police no matter what, because there's going to come to a point where enough people don't agree and someone has to step in and say, all right, you guys aren't being reasonable about this. You're not approaching this, you know, in a healthy manner. I have to step in and impose the law to say this is what you can and cannot do from this point. Okay. So, yeah, police can't completely go away. Yeah, I, I agree. But um, yeah, it's tough in the inner cities because the inner cities, you may have areas like uh, I'm gonna I'll use, let's use downtown Long Beach as an example because I I lived there for a number of years. You lived you live there now. You understand that area. Mm-hmm. It's very transient, a lot of transition. You have little splinter communities, you have little pocket communities of different cultures. But it, let's say, for example, I'm going to use your peeps, for example. Okay? You mean the brown people? The brownies. Hispanics, Mexicans? The the, the, the pinto beans. Okay? The, the bean dips. The bean dips. The bean dips of right. America. So let's, let's look at your area down there. Okay, let's say you got an area that has a, a majority. Ooh, touchy feely. You, you got a majority Hispanic. All right. Um, a good portion of them are probably <clears throat> not citizens. And okay. of that portion, there's probably a reasonable amount that are probably here illegally and working illegally. Fuck. Right? Am I right so far? I mean, yeah. Okay. So. I guess. I the last thing that, that they want to do is stir the pot. Right, Stir because the pot. their husband or their father, hardworking could, father, could yeah, could end up being deported. Right, saddest shit ever. Okay, so why are you gonna go stirring trouble in your neighborhood if you're potentially 
going to lose a family member or get deported yourself. So you want to you want community control there. It's hard to have community control when you've got a a, a noticeable amount of that population there in the Hispanic or Latino community that are probably worried about those issues, the deportation and 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 immigration. Immigration! Ice! Ice! Ah! You're getting harassed. So they see something happen on the corner. They let it go. Their neighbor gets in a fight with the wife and they pull a gun and there's, you know, maybe a shot fired. I didn't see anything. Two doors down, three doors down. A couple kids uh, decide to get mixed up in the next local gang. Ah, let it go. It's not. Yeah, I don't want to cause any problems. I don't know nothing. I live here. I don't know. Yeah, but we heard the shot upstairs. I I don't know. I live downstairs. Okay, there's your community control in some of those neighborhoods. And by those neighborhoods, I mean inner city neighborhoods. So you know. Yeah, it it's is complicated. Tough. It is it's complicated. complicated. Hmm. Yeah. It you want to you want to break city. up a crowd in the inner city after Use tear a gas. fighting? Wow. <laughs> you want you want to break up a crowd real fast? Oh, in then the use rubber cities. bullets. Yeah. Real guns. Molotovs. Ask for a statement from any of the witnesses. Everybody goes back into their apartments. Hey, that's true. Does cause... somebody want to give a statement? Oh, yeah. It's not real. It doesn't matter. It's a, not on the there's a, chart. there's a few guys down, it down, you know, like 10. It's fairy dust. That's right. That's right. You know, it's just over there. You know, you got it that. It doesn't guy. exist. It's, uh, it's a, what is it? What do you call it? Fugazi? Fugazi? It's a Fugazi. Are you talking about the band Fugazi? It's a, you know, it's a Fugazi. It doesn't exist. That's right. People just. Flutter around, just Absolutely. go off into space. When I drive my Cadillac and I pick the booger out of my nose and roll it like this, it's good. It's good. Oh. So the key witness standing on the street and then five people down is the gangster who's watching every move that every person on that street's making because they're like this. Anyhow, I'd rather be in space. Anyhow, well, um, you know where I would want to be. You know, just, uh, I want to live up on Mars once uh, Elon Musk gets that all figured out. You know, then you just go out there and just not worry about anything that's going down on Earth anymore. He's gonna drive those suckers and make sure that they make sense of it and that they get it right, and that we're gonna do an interstellar. And get out there in space with that Hathaway girl. <laughs> That's pretty far. She's ah oh fuck. She was in different. Now she gone and down, went through Gargantua and went out the other side. She uh, went down to the Gargantua and uh, in a, a, a white and now, Lincoln, now, a black Lincoln up there. And now she's having a with, a propane with, fire with thrusters in some system. some interstellar desert. With her propane fire setting up, waiting to bust it up in a bottle. Of <laughs> Hank Hill's going to be up there, too. He's going to be like, oh, uh, Bobby? Ugh. <laughs> 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 oh. you, you used to do a good Hank Hill impression. <laughs> Back, you know, in the old days when you were fun. Do people still do watch that? Oh, well, I think it's been off the air for a while. Yeah. Are you doing I don't it think yourself? it's like The Simpsons. That shit's been Dude, the forever. Gen Zs are not going to relate to what you're talking about. I don't give a shit. They got to look it up. Do the fucking That's research. Right. That's the, how I do. Homework, bitch. It's like, oh, uh, do you know Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> TV for my bunghole. They're going to be like, oh my god, what is that? Do you that? know what I just saw? I saw an ad for a new Bill and Ted. Oh movie. yeah, Bill and Ted. Uh, I think it's called Rock On or something. Face the music. Face the music. Face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You know, the nostalgic part of me <laughs> wants to watch it, but there's also a part of me that's like. Why? Why? Kind of like when uh, Dumb and Dumber came out with 
Dumber yeah, and no, Dumber. I, I, I will say like, although in Dumb and Dumberer or whatever. Anyway, um, what was it? Yeah, what's the name of that of the last one they did? Dumber and Dumberer. Dumber and Dumberer. You yeah. sure? Sure about that? Anyway, um, it's like Jim Carrey was pretty good in that role because he's very like, you know, he hasn't changed. He's just gotten older. You know, right, but as far as like his goof. movements and everything, they're the same. But when I watched the Bill and Ted trailer for that, I faced the music. I was like, man, they're so fucking old. They yeah. Don't, they don't even move the same. Like Keanu Reeves is, is just so stiff, you know, and old. And you can tell like when he moves, he's just stiff, you know. But then you I remember the old Bill he and Ted. He doesn't do one. yoga. <laughs> yeah. And, and I remember. He the doesn't old, exercise. <laughs> yeah. And I just remember like like Bill and Ted. Like I used to watch those movies a lot. And, you know, station. Yep. It, yeah. And, you know, and they would move and be like, oh, no, no you know and move their sh- it's just different I, yeah you I, can tell i'll probably still watch it it's like arnold but, schwarzenegger doing the last terminators you know that i will not watch yeah it's like dude no yeah i don't know I, terminators know, don't age yeah they I, don't get I, old i didn't even watch it but i just figured out like okay maybe they're gonna pull off the old oh, terminators get old but didn't he fucking die like putting himself in the in that big yeah but that of whatever He's not a T-1000. He's a C-43. Holly metal metal alloy. Is that what they did? Cybernetic organism. Is that what they did? They made, just said that he went in there. Made from a mold. And, so he went in there and just came out? Well, they make a mold. They make a mold of the... Okay, okay. So so you watched whatever. the new Terminator. One of the new ones? Newer ones? No, I haven't watched any of the new ones. Oh, okay. I thought you did. I think I, I stopped after Judgment Day. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I was like, okay, we're done. You're, watch, you're interchanging too many goddamn players. I watched the uh, the one with Christopher. No, what's his name? Do the, play Batman. Christian Bale. Christian Bale. I almost said Christopher Nolan. I, th- I think I saw that, that one actually. And that one was okay, but um, after all, after that, it just went crazy, and I'm like, fuck, you know. But I don't want to watch any more because I definitely do not want to ruin Terminator Two for me because Terminator Two. Now well, they ended it nicely. Was fucking amazing that was an amazing movie that was like just just like blade runner it took it to yeah oh no no not blade 11. runner i'm sorry i think it's called the running man or which one was it the one where they remade it with uh colin farrell the running man yeah yeah and i'm like i am not gonna fucking watch that shit. no no total recall total, total recall. recall there you go and i'm just like total recall was fucking awesome yeah, i am the not first gonna one was amazing i'm not gonna fucking watch this colin farrell bullshit and ruin the original just and, because they want no to do offense, a remake. No offense, Colin Farrell. We actually like you, but you know. No, yeah, I can't wait to see you play the Penguin, your rendition of the Penguin in the new Batman movie, because that's who he's going to be playing. That's rad. But it sounds cool, interesting. Like I can't wait to fucking see it. He's a great actor, whatever. But yeah, Total Recall did not care to watch it because I'm like, dude, I I just can't. I don't even want to watch. I never watched any of the new Predator movies because I only want to remember Commando. <laughs> yeah. And Predator, it's like that's Arnold. Mm-hmm. There's no erasing that. Well, that that Get to mo- the yeah, the 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 first first Predator was just it was classic, just the way it was. Yeah, that's the just, whole deal was sealed at the end. They didn't have to do no more movies. Yeah, just movie studios just trying to make a buck. Yeah, we've we've gone off on that one before, haven't we? Yeah, it's it's unnecessary. Just come up with something original. I'm sure you got some good writers out there waiting to be discovered you know we don't even have to pay them a million dollars i'm pretty sure they're just working you know from their studio apartment somewhere in silver lake you know waiting to be discovered and will be more than willing to sell their fucking story for a hundred thousand dollars right just go out there find them they could be the next big thing that's right you don't have to keep remaking shit i have some of those stories really Mm mm-hmm Let's talk about them right now. <laughs> to be continued. Yeah. All right, everybody. Hey, you guys. Thanks so much it's for listening. It's been great. Thanks thanks for listening to our Babel session. Yeah, we talked about a lot of things today. And I hope you were entertained as much as we were. I was very entertained. Yeah, look at this. I think this is our longest episode. 59 minutes and 28 seconds. Unless we break this into two. No, I don't think we will. You want to just have this as one long one? Yeah. Okay. You know, and then... Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Okay. Sounds good. We'll you know? see, see if you guys want to deal with this. We shit. were on a roll. Yeah. 
All right. It's okay. It. And I still owe you the... Um... Yes, you do. But it's okay. Can You're I going fishing tomorrow. Can I give it to you on Friday? You're going fishing tomorrow. Have fun. Live your life. Okay. So, you know, I'm trying to figure out, do people want to watch uh, YouTube more or do they want to listen to the Podbean Well, you know, but we, we, we really slowed down on the whole Podbean thing. We have. Yeah. We I get think, like I think maybe... we get more YouTube action. Yes. And you know what? That's better. Because the Podbean thing is was a good stepping stone and a great platform to get our stuff out. And we will continue to use it because it puts our stuff out on all platforms. Great. But YouTube... That is our main focus. You, tube, you and tube. This little square that you see right here. All right, everybody. Ciao, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We will talk to you next time. More to come. More to come. Later. <laughs>